What's up, y'all? It's Wax That coming back at you again with a new video. Um, I'm gonna show a technique which I call scrub chopping or scrub chop replacement. Um, this is something you can try, especially if you've got some kind of block and you can't do any new kind of beats or can't come up with anything. Uh, this may help you through that. It's a nice way to come up with real interesting chops. Um, so I hope you dig it. Uh, some people may use this already. Uh, some people may not know about it, but I hope it helps some people out. Uh, the very first thing uh, to do with this technique is to lay a simple, simple beat down on a track. Uh, bass drum, snare drum. I mean, you could do hi-hats and stuff, but just to keep the technique real simple, I'm just using bass drum and snare drum. Um, now, it is key, very vital important, to note where your hits are. Um, for this technique I'm doing today, the bass drum is on pad one. The uh, snare drum is on pad two. Real simple. Just keeping it real simple here. Now, when you have your little pattern down, you want to mute that track. Um, now, what you want to do after you mute the track is you want to copy and paste the track to another track. I'm hoping you know how to do that. I mean, it's just a drag and then copy and paste. Make sure you have another track there. I'm not going to do it just for the sake of time. I hope everybody should be up on that. But I have a second track here, which I'm going to do the uh, replacement on. Uh, now, with this technique, what you want to do is you want to grab a sample. And you can grab a sample that's 30 seconds. Uh, you can grab a sample that's a minute, three minutes, five minutes, a whole song, whatever you wish. But you just want a bulk of material in your sample. CD, record, YouTube, however you get your samples in your machine, put it in, in your machine, and then let's go to work. I'm going to play for you the sample that I, uh, that I chose to work with. Um... Uh, just to save time, I actually pitched that sample up once I got into the machine. So I'm pitching it back down, uh, minus eight, so you can hear how it sounded in its original pitch. Okay, you get the idea. Um, I'm going to put that back to zero because it's, the whole patch is actually plus eight, like I said. But um, the first thing that you want to make sure that you have an understanding of is that Bass drum and snare drum are on a patch and a bank. Now, when you take your sample, you're going to put it on a separate patch, but the same bank and pad number. So we can basically swap out, and you'll see what I'm talking about here. Um, this track here, that's track two, the bank and the patch number the bank and the pad number match up with where you're going to put the samples on where I have it here is patch 3. So when you take your sample, since my bass drum and snare drum are 1 and 2 on one patch, you're going to put it on 1 and 2 in another patch. So take your sample, put it on pad 1, copy it to the clipboard, put it on pad 2. And you run them out depending on how many sounds you have. Um, 
and basically what you want to do since you have the uh, track with the bass drum want to copy to the track that you're going to replace it with um, you're going to want to go into quick edit oops you don't want to go into your quick edit screw that up All right. and you're going to want to go into your sample edit now here I started my replacement here um, basically it's and the way I'm going to twist it in real time is just to press play because the, the other track is muted so Now just to hear the drums behind it, you can always unmute your drum track just in case you want your original drums on top of it and it's going to line up perfectly. Now I'm going to mute the drums again. Um other important things I have here to note real quick are that a good release point is definitely in order on your chops. The other thing that's important is uh, your exclusive groups to cut the sounds out. Because actually what, this, what you want to do with this technique is to catch transients after the hits. If you want a bass drum, you want to catch that bass drum and whatever is after it. Uh, it might be some other sounds in there, some some ambient transient uh, sounds that you want to bleed over, and then cut off with the uh, the next sound. Um, you're gonna have to play with the release point. I found it at a good release point, it's around 70. Um, I got my exclusive group on. <laughs> Something like that. Um, but the real timeness of this whole technique, go back to sample edit, is that uh, you hit play and you go to your chop and basically you want to go a few digits in, maybe not the first, second, third, third, fourth, or fifth is good on the start point and then you just start moving that, that start wheel, you start scrubbing, that's why I call it the scrub chop. And you see how it changes it. Changing up to my snare now, that's the bass drum part. Test it against your beat by just unmuting it.
you know, you just, you just got to play around with it and find your uh, transients, your bass transient and your snare drum transient. And you just, you just mess around and see what you can come up with. Um, other things to note here are you always have your amplifier, your LFO to play with, your filter to play with, um, any of the things in the uh, partial edit screen. You can always go back and um, play with your coarse tune on the patch. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's basically just a it's a trial and error thing, and like I said, you can um, put different drums behind it once you got your chops figured out, or you could um, you know originally put your original beat back behind it. But um, pretty much that's it. It's a scrub chop replacement, like I said. Um, let me see what chops that I actually pulled out of here. I'll um, come back and uh, show you which uh, chops that I liked. Yeah, I actually like this chop here. I also like these chops here I pulled out. And also, you can play with the uh, the chops freestyle. You know what I'm saying? Just to play around and get your feel of how you want to do your thing. But um, that's pretty much it. Scrub chop replacement, scrub chopping. Um, the key things to remember uh, when you're setting your tracks up, make sure that your pad number and your pad bank match up. Um, take your simple drum beat copy it to another track and um, like I said have fun taking a sample just scrubbing through it and see what you got the awesome thing about it and about the MV period is a, a lot of the functions you can do in real time so you can actually hear what's going on instead of just guessing as you're scrubbing through you can hear the different sounds um, it's real interesting at least I thought it was I uh, hope you find it interesting too uh, I hope it's a technique that you use to your advantage. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Any questions, you know, just hit me up. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Um, scrub chop replacement. Peace to the nation. MV8, 8,800 users. I'm Wax That, and I'm out.